built this tent Steps so light, I barely touch the ground Everybody wants to know how Brick by brick, I put them in the ground Walk, walk like I built, walk, walk, walk like I built this I do it for my people, family business Yeah What's up guys and welcome to week number four of this beach prep and for all the new subscribers know this is not a prep for a certain show just yet maybe I'll be cutting for a show in the near future but for right now this is just for the summer summer shredding whatever you want to call it just trying to lean down for the summer and having some fun with it so as you guys know I like to make some talking points to keep this video short and sweet and I've got my monthly calendar where I track everything from my weight, calorie intake, macros, ca uh, cardio as well, all that good stuff. Going into week four averages. Now, when I get my calorie intake and my macros intake for this week, it's only gonna be a total of five days because I did not track on Sunday, which is Easter, and I did not track my refeed day, which was the following Saturday. So we're looking at a total of five days for these numbers. Total calories, 1,058 calories. Protein sitting at 175.6 grams. Carbs, 248.8 grams. And for fat, we're sitting at 44.8 grams as my average for five days at week four. Average weight, we're sitting at 154.6 pounds. Now weight is different because I did weigh myself the morning of my refeed day, so weight is an average of six days, not just five. Now let's talk weight and just the number on the scale know it it is not the determining factor at the end of the day just kind of goes by how you feel and how you look in the mirror but the scale is just a guideline so there's two different ways that you can look at this and i'll also show it on the screen my starting weight for week one was 158 pounds then my lowest weigh in for week four was 151.2 pounds if I wanted to look at my progress that way, that would tell me that in four weeks, I dropped 6.8 pounds. Sounds pretty good, right? Then, if I wanna take my averages from week one and subtract it from my averages from week four, average for week number one was 157.4 pounds. Average for week four was 154.6 pounds. So if you subtract that, that says that for my averages, I lost 2.8 pounds. So that's a big difference. So you can look at it from your highest weight in the beginning to your lowest weight at the end, which put me at 6.8 pounds, or you look at the averages, the overall for those weeks, which was 2.8. So pretty big difference, 6.8, 2.8. You know, it can mess with your head, or you can be stronger than that and not. So I'm happy where I am in week four. I think I made very good progress. You guys saw the big drop in weight, and you just kind of go with it. But you use these numbers to your advantage, use it as knowledge. You know, this isn't the end all be all. So enough of that. Cardio, like I talked about before, kept it to four sessions. They're at 300 calories, which is great. Kicked my butt, honestly. 200 wasn't really that bad, but I know and I feel it after 300 calories, you know, I'm tired, we can't really hold a conversation, get a good sweat in, so I'm going to keep that. Four sessions burning 300 calories. And it's pretty much all been on the Stairmaster, and I can get that done in about 30 minutes, which is very good. So cardio is the same. Now let's talk macros. Macros, I've been feeling very good. On average, it's about 170, 175 grams of protein. Carbs ranges from probably 245, 255. I usually leave about five grams left over because with the supplements between like pre-workout or BCAs or my post-workout, Shake the Post Protocol, take from bodybuilding.com, their platinum series, those do have a few grams of carbs. You know, it's nothing crazy, but I usually just leave about five left over just for that. I don't track it, but it's just there. Fat was ranging about 40 grams to 50 grams. So gonna keep that all the same, but there might be a slight twist that you see throughout the week. I might try doing high carb days, low carb days. So kind of like a carb cycle. I've never done this before, but I think it would be interesting to try. So high carb days, fats will be lower. And in reverse, when I have low carb days, I'll up my fats. Kind of just want to experiment with this. Um, I have read some good things about it. I know it does work for some people. I know some people it doesn't. Just kind of how your body feels. I kind of want to see how low I can get with my carbs and still you know, feel good and feel good in the gym. Not sure when I'm going to start that or even if I will, but I will take you guys through that during the week if I do decide to do that. If you guys have any 
comments about that, please leave it down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. If you've tried it before, you know someone has, love to hear the feedback. Okay, enough about the physique update, all that stuff. Let's get into workouts. Workouts have been feeling great, as you guys can tell from you know what I show you. I think my most progress has been in my bench. For the dumbbell bench press on the flat bench, I like that better than incline, just preference. Before, I was only able to do three sets of eight with 35 dumbbells. Now I can do three sets of 10 with that, and actually pretty easy. So I'm very happy about that. Bench now in week five and like six, I'm gonna go back to some of the other bench workouts that I did. So I did a five by three, a six by two, and a four by four. I'm gonna revisit those and see if I can improve on my numbers. Same will be with squats. I've done a six by two and a five by five and a six by four. I'm gonna go back, revisit that. I might not hit, hit six by two. I just wanna be smart and not push myself too much since I am in a deficit. Deadlifts, I haven't been able, to, I, I shouldn't say I haven't been able to. I have not deadlifted as much as I would like, so I need to step that up. The most that I've done in the past two weeks is a four by 10 and a four by eight. So that definitely needs to be picked up and I'll start that in week five. Overall, I feel great. I have definitely noticed a difference in my body. Abs are starting to be more defined, as you guys can tell in pictures. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. And my quads too. I've really noticed that my quads started to pop out a little bit more. So, you know, it's not all about the scale. It's about how you look and how you feel. And I'm very, very happy with that. I'm excited with how this is going. I expect my weight to be around 150, 153, especially after this refeed day. So I just think the 151.2 was very low. Uh, so hopefully I stay around that for week five. Keep my lifts up, keep hitting my macros strong. And that's about it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it and got something out of it. So today is Sunday. I'm going to be squatting today and that squatting footage will be on Tuesday's video. So stay tuned for that scared the crap out of me. The cat just showed up. Now she's staring at me. So that's a sign. I'm going to get going. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for all the great support. And as always, have a great day.